Hi there and welcome to another video where I go through the past paper questions on the binary search algorithm. Okay, um, This will help you in your revision for the Edexcel D1 uh, exam but it would help with any decision maths A level modules. For more help with your GCSE and A levels see my YouTube channel and my website. Okay let's start off by looking at a question. As always with these um, pause the video, work through the question and then mark your work against mine. So here we go, here's the first question. Off you go. Okay, so this was from January 2007. It says for us to use the binary search algorithm to locate Nigel in the following alphabetical list, showing clearly how you, how you chose your pivots and which part of the list is being rejected at each stage. Okay, now clearly here, if you look down the list, Nigel's not in there. You can't just state Nigel's not in there. You have to perform the algorithm, okay? So the first thing I would do is I would write down uh, the names, okay? So, uh, Baviki, Bavika, Clive, Elizabeth, John, Mark, Nikki, let's just drag that, that down a bit here. Preeti, Steve, Trevor, and Ver Verity. Okay, the first thing is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 items. So I would show more uh, some working if I had more space. So 10 items, okay, middle is 6. So I would write that to get my mark. And then I would highlight 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Nikki. Okay, now at this stage, I'm looking for uh, Nigel. Now, Nigel. would be after the list if it was in alphabetical order. So I cross off Nikki and all the ones uh, before. And I'm left with my second stage here where I have Preeti, Steve, Trevor and Verity. Okay, so step two, I've got four items. So the middle is the third. So I would highlight the third one, which is Trevor, okay? And I know that um, Nigel would be before Trevor, so I cross off Trevor and the ones after Trevor. And then my third stage there would simply be Preeti and Steve, okay? The middle of three, two items, the middle of two items is defined as the second, which is Steve. So I would highlight Steve. Now I know Nigel should be before Steve, so I uh, cross off Steve. Now finally, I have Preeti as my answer. Preeti is not Nigel. Okay, so Nigel is not in this. Is not in Our list and we're done okay let's have a go at the next question um, here's the next question it's Edexcel D1 January 2009 it involves doing a quick sort first and then binary after and um, pause the video work through the solutions and in 10 seconds I'll go through the answer Okay, so here's a list and it asks you to use a quick sort to put them in alphabetical order. Now, I've already done this question in uh, the video on past papers on three, so I'm just going to show the, the answers here. The answers for this were clearly that Hannah, 
then Imogen, then uh, John, then Kieran, then Lauren, then Max, um, and then Richard, and finally Tara. They were in order. Look at my previous video to see how I got the answers to that. I'm going to focus here on the binary search part because for a binary search you need to be in alphabetical order. We're trying to locate the name Hugo. So um, here was my list. I better had write out what they mean or I might think H was Hugo. So H is Hannah. I'm going to write Hannah. I is Imogen. J is John. K is Kieran. Um, L is Lauren. Uh, M was Max. R was Richard and T was Tara. Okay, now I'm going to write down my working uh, workings over here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight items. So the middle is the fifth, which is one, two, three, four, five, which is Lauren. Now, if you're looking for Hugo, Hugo would be before Lauren, so you cross off Lauren and all the people after Lauren. Okay, so what you're left with next is Hannah, Imogen, John, and Kieran. Okay, so now you've got four items. The middle is the third, which would be John. Okay, so you highlight John. Now again, uh, uh, if you're looking for Hugo, that should be before John. So you cross off John and anyone after him. And you're left with uh, Hannah and Imogen. Okay, so you've got two items. The middle is the second, which is Imogen. Okay. And you know that Hugo should be before Imogen, so um, therefore uh, you cross off Imogen and whatever you're left with should be the answer. But you need to write down that Hannah is answer, not Hugo. So Hugo is not in our original list, was not in this. And there's your answers to that full mark question there. Okay, let's take a look at another question. Here's the D1 June 2009. Again, a quick sort question first, and then a binary algorithm question next. Pause the video, work through this question, and mark your answers against mine. Okay, I've done the quick sort part of this question in previous uh, video, so I encourage you to look at the video on the quick sort past paper questions to have a look through that. But here were the answers I got for that in order. It was Beth, um, Dylan, Edward, Heg, um, Jesse, Katie, Louis, Miri, Natsuko. And finally, uh, whoever was P, which is Philip. Okay, so they were the answers. Look at my previous video to see the answers for this. Okay, I'm going to focus mainly on the binary search. Now remember, to do a binary search, they have to be in order. So, the order we want them, therefore, in is this order here so I'm just going to copy uh, this line over from here this is our previous working here and this is the order that we would start off working our algorithm in okay so the first thing to do is to count up how many we've got now 
we've got, I'll write my working down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 items, so the middle is the 6. 6, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which turns out to be um, Katie. So Katie. Now, Louis, okay, would be after Katie, so you cross off Katie and everyone before her. Okay? And then you've got yourself four items. The middle is therefore the third, which would uh, be the person beginning with N, which is Natsuko. So it would be Natsuko. So you highlight the N, and you know that Louis should be before that, so you cross off Natsuko and anyone after her. Okay? So then you've got yourself um, two items. The middle is the second. So L and M. And therefore you would highlight M. And M was standing for Miri. Now, um, you know that uh, Louis should be before that, so you uh, cross off M and you're left lastly with Louis. Okay, so um, again, you've been able to find Louis there by using the, using the binary search algorithm. Okay, let's have a go at another question. Uh, this is the Edexcel June 2011 question. Pause the video, have a work through mark your answers against mine. Okay, it gives us a list of names there. A binary search is performed on the list above to locate Kim. Explain why a binary search cannot be performed in its current state. Well, currently they are not in alphabetical order. For a binary search, okay, for a binary search you need alphabetical order. So the answer to this is binary search will only work if in alpha vertical order. Okay, so uh, they're not in alphabetical order, so it won't work. Okay, it says use an appropriate al algorithm all to the list so the binary search can be performed. So we want to use an algorithm to put these in order. Now, um, we can either use the bubble sort or we can use the quick sort method. Okay, so going to the next page here, I'm just going to use the quick sort method. So I'm going to write them out as they are. It's J, M, C, B, T, H, K, R, G and F and we're going to write down what we pivot on as well as we always do. Okay, so keep a track of that. Right, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The middle is going to be the 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be here. If we want them in alphabetical order, we want anything that's lower than H in the alphabet to go first. So we're going to certainly have the C, we're going to have the B, and and after the B, uh, is there anything else that's before H? Well, yes, G is, and so is F. Then we would have our H, and anything after H in the alphabet would come next, namely J, M, T, K, and R. That's supposed to be a K there. And at this point, we've got a list of four and a list of five. Out of the four, we're going to pivot on the third one, which is the G. And we're going to pivot on the third one, which is the T. Okay, out of these, we're going to write anything that comes before G in the alphabet. Well, C does, B does, and F does. And we keep our G and our H. And out of these five, anything that comes before T, well, J does, M does. K does and R does, so T ends up going to the end. 
Then out of these three, we're going to pivot on their middle, which is B. And out of these four, we're going to pivot on the middle, which is K in this case. Okay, so out of these, write anything that's before B, or well, nothing is, so B goes first, then C, then F, then your G and your H. Then out of these four, anything that goes before K, or well, J does, but then nothing does, so K goes next, then M, then R, then T. Okay, and at this point here, out of these two, you pivot on the second, which is your F, you pivot on the single one, which is a J, and you pivot on the second one here, which is an R. Okay, and you go through here out of, uh, you write down your B, anything that goes before F, or C already goes before F, you've got your F, you've got your G, you've got your H, got your J, got your K, out of M and R, are they in order? Yes, M is, then R, then T. And then you lastly pivot on the solos, which are C and M. And then you've got your list. So it's B, C, F, G, H, J, K, M, R, and T. And you're done with that. Okay, now let's continue with this question. Um, part C of the question asks us to uh, find Kim using a binary search from the order you got in this list here. So the first thing we need to do is we probably need to copy down this order into part C. And this was our order that we got here. I'm just going to keep it written there for our benefit. And we're trying to find Kim in that list. So we're basically, we're trying to find the K in that list using a binary search. So I'm going to do my working up here. I'll say step one, I've got 10 items. Middle is the 6, which in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is um, therefore Jenny. Okay, now if you were looking for Kim, you would know that Kim must come after um, Jenny. So what you would do is you would cross off Jenny and all the items before it. And your new list would therefore be K, M, R, and T. And your second working would be four items. Middle would be the third out of those, which would be R, which would be Richard. Okay, so Richard is your pivot. But you know, if you're looking for Kim, Kim would be before. So you cross off Richard and anything after him. And your next list then would be K, and M, so you've got two items, the middle is the second, which is uh, M, which is Mary, so you would highlight Mary, and Mary isn't the one you're looking for, so you cross it off, and you'd be left with, finally, K, which is Kim at the end. And that's how you got the four marks there, and you've stated clearly what you've done at each stage. I would write this underneath to show you working, I just didn't have the space on the page. And that's all um, in regards um, to the binary search algorithm and the past paper questions on them. Um, I hope you found the following uh, useful in your revision for decision one. Um, and thank you for watching the video. Please tune in for the next video on decision one. Thanks.